Hello everyone. <coughs> Today I am going to show you how we will schedule a task for the future execution. So uh, using thread. So uh, usually we can do in two ways. One is we can use Java Util Timer, and is uh, another one is concurrent uh, schedule thread pool executor. So basically we will see uh, both of them today. So I am going to yeah I'm going to create a uh, concurrency there is no package for concurrency so I am going to create a package here package concurrency so concurrency so in concurrency I am going to create a pack, uh, Java class called timer texture timer test yeah okay inside that I'm going to create a timer task so public static void main inside that I have string args so here what I'm going to do so I should have a timer task so it's also in Java util and uh, I will represent as a task and I need to create a new timer task so actually it's an inner class I'm defining here so we have a I'm just a uh, control and uh, implements method so I need to implement the run method so here I am just system dot out dot pendulum and I am just uh, printing date right now and uh, okay so I have that method then thread and the current thread thread dot current thread dot, dot name thread get name okay so it will print that one then there is some issues here no issues so I have timer task now and I need to create my timer so I create my timer here new timer and I need to give a name so something like timer is fine and next thing I need to do is I need to define the delay so that's long so it's thousand L or something then timer dot schedule and I need to give my task so task is here and I can delay So I'm okay right now. So let's see what is going to happen. I'm just running right now. And uh, yeah, it's uh, run for a particular task delay, thousand minutes. 
so if I'm just running again it will take some time to yeah, do the task so in this case it will take really one time yeah right now you need to wait sometimes yeah right now it's okay so how we will uh, how we will execute that periodically is another thing so let me see how we can do that so there is another method inside timer itself schedule at fixed rate so here schedule also will work in that way so if you are mentioning the period also here there are this one is overridden method and i am just in period also i am just giving the delay so let's see what is going to happen in this scenario so i'm just overriding this one So I am waiting for the first one then I need to wait again for the second one so it will yeah right now it's uh, running periodically so in this way I can schedule timer based on a particular delay or based on a particular uh, interval we can do everything like that if I am going inside this method so this is a timer actually this is a timer.java so if you are going timer.java it is a public class and uh, there is a queue here and a timer thread also there and what are the methods here that's a uh, thing we are interested in. so there is a schedule met method that will take the task and delay which is a delay is less than zero illegal argument negative delay then inside this one also there we can schedule by time so it will uh, yeah it will do only for a particular time in this case we are passing task delay and period so based on that it will it will execute in here uh, we are mentioning a date here so the same method at uh, the same uh, yeah method name but different method signature so task the first date we need to have then uh, period then there is another one scheduled at fixed rate So in this case, it will uh, execute at a fixed rate. Actually, delay in task uh, millisecond before task is to be executed. Time in millisecond between successive task execution. So it's almost same like schedule. So yeah. These are the ways we can schedule the task. So there is an a, a implemented one that's called by other methods. It's a private method shared. So it's a part of scheduler. And also there is a cancel method. So if you can cancel after a particular time interval, it will cancel all, and that schedule also. Purge is there. so remove all the cancel tasks from this time as task queue so that also it will do okay that's all for today